we take a look at some of the most impressive homemade rockets. Starting at number 10, and it's a project which is currently being developed right now. This particular team has recently brought forth many impressive rockets, including the Heroes 3, which reached over 100,000 feet. Their newest variant is the Highlight rocket, which is currently undergoing ground tests. This engine combines nitrous oxide with a new in-house fuel. All valves and fluid systems are completely overhauled as well. The Compass rocket was a subscale demonstrator of the N2 Orth, and it managed to climb to 10,000 feet. Moving on, we get to the Saturn V 120th scale replica. This was developed by the Kronos team, and it's a very large rocket measuring in at around 18 feet tall. Containing five airframe sections, the entire contraption weighs around 200 pounds. The project also took over a year and a half, but it eventually became one of the largest homemade rocket models ever launched in Canada. At number 8, the Wooden Rocket by Xyla. A custom-made wooden rocket is a pretty impressive build by this particular YouTuber. The fins were laser cut out of a birch ply, and then eventually mounted onto a fiberglass tube. Some fine detailing, and the rocket was outfitted with a Jade 595. In the end, it only took her 5 days to make a completely reusable rocket. It's a pretty impressive build, so make sure to check out that link in my description as well. Now we start getting into very large variants, with number 7 being the Nike. A full-scale replica resembles the NASA sounding rocket from the 1960s. It comes in at around 29 feet, with a total weight of around 330 pounds. It is fully composite, and the build took over 9 months. Powered by Q6300, it produces a white flame with dense grey smoke. Moving on, and it's one of my favorites, which is titled the Space Oddity. A vintage build is a massive 500 pound, 10 foot high beast built by Kaboom Crew. It is powered by a 6 foot long O engine at 40,000 newton seconds. But the rocket did face a few glitches including a pre-deployment of its parachute. Nevertheless, the Cartoonic Wonder was a big accomplishment by this team, which ranged from L3 to L1 hobbyists. If you like studying history of rocketry, then you would probably identify this one, which is titled the Black Arrow. Rockets don't always have to fly to be impressive, and this full-size replica of Britain's Black Arrow from the 1960s is pretty impressive. Tiring in at over 40 feet, the replica was undertaken by a team led by the White Aviation Museum. The main frame was built out of laser-cut sections of aluminum sheet, and the nose cone was constructed of a multi-stage process which involved a glass fiber mold. Unfortunately, the rocket does not have an overpowering engine inside of it, but it is indeed a very unique structure. At number 4, the Hydrogen. These types of thermal rockets are commonly referred to as steam or hot water, as they pressurize water in a vessel at a very high temperature. The water is then allowed to escape through a nozzle, thus producing high thrust for short durations. These builds have to be very redundant, so it does require a bit of technical know-how. The rocket did achieve 2300 feet, but I couldn't find much more information about this particular rocket build. At number 3, the Horizon Water Rocket. Most water rockets only go a few hundred feet, so to see one actually go 3100 feet is pretty amazing to say the least. These rockets are outfitted with high pressure carbon fiber tanks which can be pressurized up to 1000 psi. This is approximately 10 times the pressure of a typical 2 liter pop bottle, hence the extreme altitudes. There is also a new interesting breakdown of a two stage booster on air command rockets. And at this rate, they will probably reach the moon again before NASA. At number 2, the 3 quarter scale Mercury Redstone. You can go big or just go home. Two years of hard work and this amounted to a 64 foot tall rocket which weighs around 1000 pounds. The 3 quarter scale model even broke Steve Estes' iconic Saturn V in terms of sheer size. Powered by a cube motor, 
This rocket did climb to a maximum altitude of 2600 feet. However, I'm sure this record will be broken once again. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a 100 foot model rocket in the future. Godspeed, John Glenn. Yeah. Oh, 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 Woo! Okay, we got the up part. That's the easy part. Let's see about. All right, there's an event. It's coming apart. Look at that. All right, we've got a booster under shoot. We've got the main section under shoot. We've got the tower under shoot. And we've got the capsule. Finally, we get to the Traveler 4. This is a very impressive student project which broke the carbon line at 339,000 feet. It is built out of an 8 inch diameter case which is a filament wound carbon fiber tow around an aluminum mantle. EPDM lines the tow and controls high temperatures from the motor. The motor itself is an R-Class with a burn time of around 14 seconds at 4600 pounds of thrust making it to be one of the highest flying amateur rockets ever made. However, having said that, I probably missed quite a few really impressive builds out there, so please leave me a comment in the section about your particular amateur rocket, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.